What's up guys, it's Jockerl and today we are going to see which street racer is the fastest. Which this will include Rally's Cool 72, Tree Master CO2, Tokyo Zero, no, stop, the Widow, the Widowmaker, Apex GT85, ah, I keep accidentally switching to cut classics, up, but and finally the hula gun so let's start with rally's cool 72 and we're going to do the yo sushi root b circuit which can go fast the fastest around here this is why we're doing these videos to show people who watch tabletop racing which car is the fastest okay it's off uh Okay, this car is not that easy to control for me. Okay, that's a lot of understeer from honest. Lots of understeer. It just, it just has this feeling that it can't. It's feel. There's this weird feeling with the car when I'm driving it. It's like. It feels like there's. It's pushing. It feels like the car is dragging me to the outside. I definitely wouldn't recommend this as your first car, if I'm honest. You're, I definitely wouldn't recommend this as your first street racer. It is not that grippy. It takes some time to... It's seen, it'll probably take some time to get used to it. Oh my god, that is... That is... Okay. It's trying to cling it to the corners. It is not that fast. Oh, yeah, that is it's fast. I'm just we're Okay, we're on to the final lap. Let's see how this. Okay. I say the car isn't that bad. The cornering. It's it's not that bad, but as I like I said, I wouldn't recommend it as your first street racer. It's not that good at co it, I can't cling it to the corners. Okay, and it's it's one minute fifty six point two. Our next racer has to be that time. Okay, not that bad, but let's see the next race. It's Tree Master CO2. I mean, Tree Master is a good car, so let's get into that car. It is Tree Master CO2 is a is a Jeep. So let's see, would you buy this for your first car? Because this is the cheapest car in the section in the class. Okay. Oh my god. The cornering is actually really good. Oh yeah. But it does not. Okay, this car does not feel in any way fast. The cornering is good, but it doesn't give me that feel that I'm going fast. Just gonna. I have the need, the need for speed, but I don't, just don't feel the speed right now. Even though I'm having, ma I'm using a lot of boosts, I still can't feel that speed. That's the one problem with this car. Sure, the car is good at cornering, but it's not. Ah, no. My mistake. Okay. Since of my bad driving, I probably will have to give it another head start. But only if only if it can beat the others. So okay. Sometimes it has the feel of understeer, but it don't. It doesn't really feel. In any way, understeer feel 
It doesn't feel like it's understeering, but it does kind of feel like it's really heavy. Because Land Rovers in real life are a very heavy car. You know what I mean? Ah! Oh. Okay, so. This is supposed to be a Land Rover. Okay, it didn't beat. Wait, actually, one sec. It was the same time. Wow. I mean... Okay, that car could use some speed boost. Okay, now we're going to Tokyo Zero. When I first played this game, this was my first street racer, so I would recommend driving this car because it had like the best handling the best speed in so in so basically this is the okay let's see how it goes okay nice the cornering feels as decent handling this thing oh and it feels so much better to be much feel and this car feels so much faster than the Land Rover because it is absolute that thing feels like there is a caravan bot hip hooked up to it. But that's what the Land Rover felt like. Um this one feels a lot lighter, a lot more feels a lot more easy. I mean it is kind of understeery, but to be honest, it's not that bad. Okay, so we're now going through here. Oh, yes. Okay, break here and turn her. Speeding as quickly as possible into here. Oh, yes. Oh yes, that is speed, simplicity, absolute perfection there. Oh my gosh. I still, I used to love this thing back in the day and I still do. Oh my gosh. This thing feels like absolute amazingness. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Okay, fun, final lap, let's see. Fifty-four point four seconds. That is not bad for for a first car of mine. So let's see our next race. Okay, let's. Next we have the Widowmaker. I can obviously tell which car, what car would be in real life. Guess in the comments what car it would be, and. Anyway, let's race this. Oh, this. Okay, this car has a great feel of cornering. Like, it really does feel like you're clinging to the track. And when you feel it, I I do feel like the. The to Tokyo Zero is faster, but it definitely doesn't feel like this. Because this thing absolutely clings onto the track. Well, I nearly messed up that car, the Porsche's time. But, okay, we are speeding down here. Oh yeah. Oh yes, it feels so smooth. Oh, that is good. Dang, that is some cornering. Oh my god. Oh, this thing is an absolute joy to drive. 
Oh my god. Oh yes. It absolutely clings to the track. Okay, when you break. Well, when you look at the stats of the cars, this thing just looks like you'd much rather the Nissan. But sometimes analytics don't tell how good it is. Oh my god. In under 1 minute and 50 seconds, the Widowmaker is the leader right now. So like this thing it if so i'd say i'd re really recommend this to you as your first car in street races because i when i first car i never knew i thought this car was just less powerful but i thought i thought this is the best most bang you can get for your buck and then but i think this i recommend this now our next racer is called from is Based on it, hold on, wait, hold on, just a sec. You have to get rid of these wheels, they can't be. Okay, now. So, let's see Apex GT86 try and compete with the others. Like, this car is good, but I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. Let's see, okay. The car is very slidey. There, okay, this car sadly does not feel like it has any grip at all. Like, I'm sorry, it just... Oh my god, that cornering is absolutely... The cornering... Oh yeah, okay. I'm trying my hardest to control this thing. It is not easy. As you can see, I'm slightly sliding. Because basically, this car is meant for drifting. And that's really what it wants to do. But I'm, try I'm trying to force it to do something it doesn't really want to do. It doesn't want to grip. It literally just tries to... It literally just tries to... Like, I mean... Yeah, it's it's good. Fa it's fast. It's good at handling, but it's just that the cornering it feels like there is no grip. It feels like it just glides through corners. Which I kind of don't like that way. I kind of like it sticking to the track because this. Oh my god! Can you see how hard it is to control now? Because I can literally not control this. Oh my god! I literally had to break around corners, which I usually never do. Unless it's a very sharp corner, I do that. I do break around corners. Uh, I played, before I played this game, I played the old version of tabletop racing and there was no break. Which that really was a bummer. So it really was annoying, okay. And that's, and that's what sliding around gives you. 59.3, the worst car in this session at the moment. It's next race. We're, it's, we're on to the last and final, last but not least, the hula gun. My favorite out of the ones, not because it's particularly good at driving, it's because of its looks. It looks amazing. I love it. Okay, now let's see if this modern, modern classic can beat the others. This car is also meant to be a drifter, but it's not mu as much as a drifter as Apex GT. The Apex GT. Okay. Whoa. The cornering is actually a lot better. Okay. Okay, now, nice. I can drive this any day. The cornering, you can get a little skid just to get less understeer in the corners. You can see the nice little tail whack whip. Oh no, 
I always fell off. I thought it was, it was over for the hooligan, but it isn't. Okay, now break. Nice cornering. Oh, yeah. That is good. Oh, man. That is some good cornering. Okay. Finally breaking around. Oh, my God. Whoa. That was insane. This car is still well in the game. Okay. I can feel like the speed li the speed of the car is limited because I keep always bringing to max speed. It does really slow down when you get Okay, now. The cornering. Okay, we're at Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. This thing keeps jumping. It's so... I probably am not using the brakes a lot on this thing. Wow. That does... Now, that car really does pack a punch. Now, let's see. The results are that... Okay, let's talk a bit about the cars. So, Rally's Cool 72. This car, if just make sure you don't break late or else the car will understeer. Like, it's not that good. If you're a cheapskate and need a quick car, need a nice street racer, get Tremester CL2. It's very good at cornering. Tokyo Zero, it's kind of, uh, at analytically, is the best car around here, but, but, um, I would recommend it as your first car, but I, I also recommend this car as your first car. But, if you want, this car, um, it's not really, when you think about it, it's not really for, driving around a racetrack so if you think this car is good don't buy it don't but I do recommend the hooligan if you if you like this car it's definitely worth buying the DLC so definitely buy the who definitely if you want the hooligan it's so worth it buying the DLC as well as you get another car called the get the Bugatti and then there's the mini so Thank you guys so much for watching. So just remember, the Widowmaker is the winner here. So this is the best street race you can get. Okay. See you. I'll have to see you later. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.